Hey there. Um, so this is me from the future. Uh, there were a couple errors that some people were having in the comments, and I wanted to come back and make a, another bug fix video using the project from about this point in time. So here's what the two errors are. Uh, first of all, if your uh, ball has, so let's say that we go to our game manager here, I'm going to set my number of extra balls to something relatively large, like say 40, and my number of extra balls to fire to 40. If I fire this off, it'll start generating balls, but as soon as the main ball hits the ground, it's done generating, even though it had 30 left to generate. So it's just going to have those go and then drop down. So that's an error. Uh, the next error is that doesn't when the new bricks spawn into the scene, they don't always spawn in where they're supposed to. Sometimes they'll spawn in for a moment where they're supposed to, and then they'll kind of jump down to the next row over, just like this, which makes it appear that some bricks are overlapping each other. And the reason that happened, uh, let me see if I can catch it this time, is because if I slow this down and go frame by frame, um, you might be able to see it actually happen this time. So bear with me for a second. So you see that brick right here spawns in with zero health, and then immediately jumps down with five health. The reason why is for some reason it spawned in thinking that it was in the move state. So we need to fix these two issues. So let's do that. Uh, first, I want to go to my scripts folder, and I want to open up the, uh, let's do the brick movement controller first. So I'm going to open this up. Now, I'm going to add a new method here underneath start. It doesn't technically matter where I put this, but I like to have stuff kind of organized. So this is going to be a method that's uh, known to Unity, uh, and it's called onEnable. So I'm going to do void onEnable. And when this is enabled, what I want to do is both of these things that I did in the start method. So I'm going to copy these and paste them down here. Uh, okay. That should fix the second issue. To fix the first issue, where not all the balls are spawning before, if the main ball hits the ground before all the balls have spawned, it stops spawning balls, even though it knows it needs to make more. We go to the extra ball manager script. And the reason why is as soon as that ball hits the ground, its state goes into wait. And in the update method for the extra ball manager, we're only creating new balls if the ball controller state is on fire. So as soon as it switches to wait, uh, it doesn't access any of this code anymore. So what I want to do is I'm just going to add an or statement to this main if statement here. So in the extra ball manager script, uh, in the update method, a number of balls that text or number of balls text that text equals blah plus number of balls. And then if we're going to take this whole ball controller statement here equals ball state dot fire. I'm going to copy that. And then at the end, I'm going to add the or statement. I'm going to paste this here and just change this from fire to wait. Okay. Now if I save, I'm going to pop back into Unity here and let's see if those mistakes are gone. So first thing I'm going to do is go over to my game manager. Now I'm going to set my number of balls to 40 and my number of balls to fire to 40. Uh, I'll hit play. And now, the ball should keep coming out even though... Oh. Aha. Okay. I didn't change it when it was in play mode, so we'll change it now. Alright, so 40 and 40. So I'm going to fire that off. And even though my main ball has landed, it's still firing off new balls. All right, cool. Those spawned in just fine. Let's make sure it works this way like it's supposed to for a little bit here. Well, can't really do that if we have uh, all these extra balls. So let's change that. Let's make this um, zero, and let's make this zero. So if 
fire off my single ball. Okay, those all spawned in right. Those spawned in right. Those spawned in right. Okay. You might have to do a little more testing just to make sure that this works, but so far, this works. So, sorry about all the confusion there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have any more questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, if you learned anything today, feel free to hit the like button. Um, and have a great day.